What's up, guys? Welcome back to the comment section with Brett Cooper. Uh, I have good news for all of the Kanye stands out there. I'm really happy for you. I'm let you finish. He's back in the news, but honestly, it's felt like he's never left the news in, I don't know, the past month and a half, the past forever, honestly. But his divorce with Kim Kardashian is still going on, and now Pete Davidson is in the mix because Kim is dating Pete. But as of yesterday, Kim is legally single whatever that means. And a lot of people took that to mean they divorced. Fake news, actually. I even tweeted about it saying, hey, they're divorced, you know, news of the day. They're not. It is a legal thing to become legally single in the midst of a divorce. I still don't really get it, but there is a TikTok that is explaining it. So we're going to watch it and she's going to explain. So February 2021, Kim Kardashian files for divorce from Kanye West for reasons reasonable reasons and everything was fine kanye west responded two months later agreeing on all general terms involving child custody and there was no disagreement on property separation so then we cut to december 2021 where kim kardashian asked the court to declare her legally single and to restore her birth name before the details of child custody and property were sorted out this is super common in complicated divorces on february 16th 2022 kanye west files a motion opposing kim kardashian's request to be legally single and in that motion, he raises a whole new set of issues. This is where it gets juicy. Kanye argues that Kim's motion should be denied so that she could refile it with the following mandatory corrections and requested revisions. Number one, Kanye's right to reimbursement remains intact if either of the parties die before the final property judgment is made. Okay, wait, so first of all, the divorce is going on. She filed in December to become legally single. Then Kanye is opposing the motion to be legally single and is violating their prenup? That's a good question. I don't know. So not only is this condition moot and unnecessary, it's f weird. Second request, Kim Kardashian does not transfer assets out of any trusts they created together. In Kim's 155 page reply, she essentially says that's ridiculous. Why? Because they have a prenup that keeps all their trust and assets separate. And more importantly, Kim needs access to her trusts to run her businesses. Okay, here's request number three. Kanye requests that Kardashian and her future spouse waive their marital privileges until a custody decision has been made. So, Kanye wants her to waive marital privileges if she gets married before this divorce continues or finalizes. So, obviously, we all know what's been going on between Kanye and Pete. So, this must be that he thinks she's immediately going to go marry Pete. I mean, she has been married four times, so... Maybe we'll see a wedding next week. But all the other stuff, according to this woman, his asks of Kim are moot because they have a prenup. So it just seems like he's going off the rails yet again. It is also unprecedented and ridiculous. It means that Kim's potential future spouse can be called to testify against her in court. Kim doesn't even respond to this in her reply. I'm literally embarrassed for Kanye's legal team's life and soul. What Kim does say in her reply is that it is Mr. West's bitterness and unhappiness that she seeks relief from. In her response to Kanye, she goes, it is Mr. West's bitterness and unhappiness that she seeks relief from. I could say that about a lot of people. That's, that's a mood. Anyway, this all went viral yesterday. People saying that she was legally single. <laughs> Somebody else says Kanye became single when he moved to Wyoming. Can you actually imagine Kim Kardashian in Wyoming? I mean, Jeffree Star did move to Wyoming last year and now has a yak farm, which is one of the most horrifying things I've ever seen. Yak. <laughs> so we've seen weirder things happen. Kanye is mentally unstable. And Kim K is built like a hobbit. Why are they even famous? This is interesting. Um, somebody tweeted this. To close out the hearing that was yesterday, Kim answered a couple of questions known as the prove up, which included, are there problems in your relationship? And do you think your marriage can be safe with counseling? Kim answered yes to both. And this person says, don't let Kanye see this. So now down to the actual juicy stuff that I care about, Pete Davidson. After this hearing, Kanye posted his new music video for his song, Easy, on Instagram, and it is wild. It, first of all, it's claymation, which is, weirds me out. 
but he has a beheaded Pete Davidson in it. I watch four kids for like five hours a day. I wear these easy boots everywhere. Who's dragging the body? I get love for the nannies, but real family is better. The cameras watch the kids. I stop taking the credit. Not custodial dad. I bought like, the house. He's not even trying to hide the, the fact that that's Pete. Like, that is a dead ringer. Oh my god, that's horrifying. Absolutely not. Nope. Ah! God, I hate it. Anyway, so now that is why Pete Davidson is trending. Also, in true Kanye fashion, he deleted everything from his Instagram except that video and a post about Ukraine. But I'm so glad that he left that up so that we could look at it today. I guess one person says, okay, I get it. This is less about Pete and Kim being harassed and more about y'all running this black man is the boogeyman narrative with Kanye. OMG, he's a bully and scaring her. He's abusive. All bullshit because it's obvious you're using double standards here. That's interesting. Pete Davidson has achieved every comedian's dream to get more famous each and every day without ever having to write new material. It's true. Pete Davidson is the goofiest person to be mad at, bro. It's like having beef with SpongeBob. No, it's like having beef with a wet noodle. A wet cigarette, basically. But the majority of people on the internet are saying that Kanye is abusive, that he's a narcissist, and they are genuinely concerned for Pete Davidson's safety. And it's like, I see it. It's definitely creepy. But it's also like, like didn't Kathy Griffin have a like a, a photo holding a severed Trump head with like blood dripping everywhere? And I think she still has a career. I feel like just as a culture, we are so numb to like violence and gore now. It's just everywhere. And so I think that there's a bit of a double standard because when it's a political thing, it's okay. I don't know. I think it's all weird. Like this is, here's a tweet. Somebody goes, the left is upset at Kanye for a video of him burying Pete Davidson alive. But I thought music videos of Trump getting shot or beat up or Melania being accosted were art and they're just fine. The hypocrisy knows no bounds. So that's what I mean. Anyway, this is not going to be over anytime soon, and Pete Davidson trends at least once a week in my world, so I'm sure that we'll be back with more Pete content.